We don't think of Jake as uh, disabled at all. He's just as good as any one of us. Yeah, it's like an elbow. If you've ever seen Muay Thai, Muay Thai is the art of eight limbs. That's what it's called. And uh, so you've got your elbows, your fists, your knees, and your, your shins. Um, and so this is just like another elbow, but I've modified it so I can use it like a jab. Yeah, I hit people with this. My name is Daniel Ennett, and like everyone, I have to adapt to meet everyday challenges. All around me, unique people are doing amazing things. Together, we are invincible. My name is Jake Peacock, uh, two-time North American Championship in Kyokushin Karate and uh, fought in Japan, Tokyo for the world title. Jake is very unique. I think there might be one other athlete that uh, can put together the full game the way he does right now in the world of mixed martial arts, so not very common. So I have one partial arm, uh, half my right arm's missing, uh, my hand, and uh, I was born without that. It was congenital, I didn't lose it. Um, my mum, uh, when I was inside my mum's womb, she, the umbilical cord got wrapped around my arm and cut off the blood circulation, so it just didn't grow. I've not known any different, and I haven't found anything that I can't do. I've watched Jake fight a few times uh, and seen some of the previous karate matches recorded, and one of the things I love to watch the most is the look of surprise in his opponent's face because you know they're expecting like it'll be a bit of an easier match and then they get to this guy and they can't break him down mentally, they certainly can't break him down physically, they don't know what to do with him afterwards. I was picked on when I was younger a couple times, when I was a lot younger and uh, no one really knew that, I, I think a couple people knew that I did martial arts but I was in karate but you know karate is just like hi yeah, it doesn't mean anything to people you know that don't know what they're doing and uh, but then one day I got into a fight at my school and uh, the kid pinned me up against the wall and so I took him out and then everyone knew what was up and then I didn't get picked on again. Uh, that's one of the things that we all appreciate the most about Jake is the, the group of guys that we all train with were all pretty uh, hardcore guys, pretty intense. Uh, none of us really would baby any of the others so you either have to fit into that mentality or you're not going to do too well. You can't wrap that arm up, so you know, you'd feel something is blocking your arm and you'd want to try and swing around to grab it, but there's nothing to grab, so that's something that was very interesting to discover. Most of the time it's more of an advantage than a disadvantage. Um, uh, because guys don't know the timing of my arm coming because they expect it to come a split second before it actually does um, and also this can fit into gaps and I don't get tangled, they can't grab my arm and tangle me up so when I'm in the clinch or I'm in close in the pocket I can fire things up. Uh, when he hits uh, with that glove this feels like a fist. I have to find my range differently. Everyone has the same range here. I have to work my way in to connect with this. It's like using an elbow on this arm, but I, this is like my, my second hand here, so I've got to use that and find different angles. Most of my time is taken up by training people. I do that for money as well. I'm at school at the moment for a behavioral science degree. I'm in my last year, so in two more classes, um, in April I'll be graduated and I look to get into social work and integrate that with my sport and maybe open up my own gym and do social work through that. I want to meet Daniel, the mental strength that he has. Anyone could learn anything from him. To do what he did, I saw a clip of him video gaming. That's insane, you know? Like, incredible. People that face adversity are tough mentally, and there's some resilience there as well. So I'd like to meet him and, and learn a few things from him too. Me and Daniel are going to play a video game one day, and we'll see who wins. 
Hello. 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 Hey. How you doing, Daniel? Not too bad. Nice to meet you, man. Fist bump. You good? <laughs> Not too bad. How are you gonna, I hope we're going to gain today. I'm going to find you, buddy. You better <laughs> better check, you check yourself. <laughs> <gasps> so if I punch this way, yeah, perfect. That's exactly <laughs> what you, And turn like that. That looked really good, actually. Okay, so away. And then this way, exactly. So that's how you can dodge punches. You scared yet? Take a seat. <laughs> oh, man. What the heck? <laughs> Was that you? This is what's going to choke you right here. Mm -hmm. But if you get your chin down, nothing's going to choke you. I'm actually taking psychology as well. Yeah, it's no, I heard about that. What do you want to get into? Then? Social work. Yeah, maybe, uh, you know, probation officer or something. Yeah. I have this weird bond with hardened criminals. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's just kind of like an instantly formed version of respect. It's very, yeah, yeah, yeah. very bizarre. <laughs> That's cool though. Yeah. You can, there's fields for everyone, huh? And everyone has a unique way of getting into something and yeah. that's cool. I find it interesting how we both feel the need to give back, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. God's blessed me with the body that I have and uh, been given, so I'm just going to make the most of it. I'll overcome these limitations and I'll overcome challenges. Got to think outside the box to do that. And the only limitations we have are the ones we set on ourselves. So if you believe, you can achieve. Ah, oh, you beat me. We'll play <laughs> one of my games Won't sometime. be the last time. <laughs> We'll have to try one of your games next time. Yeah, let's do it.